You've been working hard on your flexibility, but you're not getting any closer to your middle splits. So you try a new routine, but it still doesn't help. So you watch more YouTube videos, searching for that missing link, but nothing works. So you push harder, but that just causes pain, and now you're frustrated. Stretching more won't get your middle splits. Now it's time to learn something that actually works. It's about the correct pairing of end range strength in your glutes with loaded stretching and knowing exactly which progression is right for your stage of flexibility. I'm not just gonna show you the progressions. I'll show you exactly when to use each exercise, how to correctly pair end range strength with loaded stretching and which exercises are best to pair together. A lot of people want the middle splits and jump straight into advanced progressions before they're ready. I've been there too. You think the more you stretch, the closer you'll get, but that's not how it works. Without the right progressions, not only are you risking injury, but you're setting yourself up for endless frustration. I watched so much YouTube content and it took me a while to figure out, but I finally realized that unlocking the middle splits wasn't about stretching harder or more. It was about end range strength and loaded stretching but I had no idea how to use these two methods safely and effectively. That's when I made a commitment to figure out the exact progression path that would lead to success. I knew there had to be a better way and I was determined to find it. So I started working with a coach, an expert who had a deep understanding of flexibility training. He showed me the key to progress wasn't in stretching harder, but in building strength at end ranges. He taught me how to properly engage my glutes with a progression path that I hadn't seen before and how to pair that strength with loaded stretching. He emphasized the importance of using the correct progression and not skipping ahead. And that was the aha moment for me. And even with the right guidance, the journey wasn't easy. I spent weeks, sometimes months on just one progression. And honestly, the results didn't come immediately. It was hard not to be tempted to skip ahead, to think maybe I could just push through it faster. But I stayed disciplined, working hard at end range, and slowly but surely, I started to see progress. It wasn't a quick fix, and I know that's frustrating for a lot of you, but patience and perseverance are key to unlocking the middle splits. After sticking with proper progressions, I finally started to feel a shift. It was a subtle change at first, but I could tell things were moving in the right direction. Building strength, especially at the end range, paired with loaded stretching was the key. That combination finally allowed me to make real progress, and I could see myself getting closer to achieving the full middle splits. Now with everything I've learned, I wanna share the exact progression path with you. I'll walk you through each level from beginner right through to advanced, and explain what each one looks like so you'll know exactly when you're ready to move up. This process works if you commit to it. Skipping steps will only lead to frustration. But if you follow the right progression, building both strength and flexibility, you'll see real results. You will always pair an end range contraction for the glutes with a loaded stretch for the adductors. So that means that you'll perform the end range contraction and have less than 10 seconds rest before you go straight into the loaded stretch for the adductors. Loaded stretching just means that there is an external force pushing you deeper into the stretch. This causes you to contract the adductors either isometrically or eccentrically, which builds strength through full range of motion and is a powerful way to get usable flexibility. It's important to know that you will rarely be ready for the next progression in the middle splits until you have achieved a certain standard with your end range contractions for the glutes. Don't make the mistake I made by trying to push deeper into the middle splits. That just causes muscle tears, which stifles progress. Instead, if you find that you've hit a plateau, work harder on your end range contractions and allow the flexibility to come with your loaded stretching. There's a lot of young YouTubers out there who their heart is in the right place and they're claiming that you can get the middle splits just by sitting and holding for 30 seconds and doing several sets. I have never once seen that work for anybody over the age of about 35. You need to do end range strength and loaded stretching. Just sitting and holding a stretch doesn't work for those of us that are older. Well, you know what? If you think you can do that, then maybe you're watching the wrong video. But seriously, if you can do that, why on earth would you be searching for a middle splits video on YouTube? 
We're going to start with the Pissing Dog and Active Middle Splits. The Pissing Dog Overcoming Isometric is the best starting point for end range strength because it allows you to contract the glutes hard as you push against the wall. In the early phases of flexibility training, you will likely struggle to contract your muscles at end range. It is very challenging to do so. And there are no shortcuts here. You just have to do the work and you must be able to feel a strong contraction in the glutes before progressing forward. When you can get your thigh to roughly a 45 degree angle to the wall without twisting your body, you can move to the pissing dog, which is much more challenging. I like to pair either of these progressions with the active middle splits. You will likely spend a lot of time on this progression and I even come back to it periodically as it's so effective. You can start very high if you're a beginner, which makes it a really safe starting point. When you can lift your leg to the horizontal position with the pissing dog and get your active middle splits to about this level, we can move forward. To learn more, get the flexibility blueprint. Just click or tap the screen to get it. Next is the fire hydrant loaded lift and straddle up. By adding weight to the end range contraction, we develop even more end range strength and control in our middle splits. You can get a lot out of this exercise by trying to push the knee higher and by adding more weight. At my best effort, I was lifting seven and a half kilograms or 16 and a half pounds, but you could get a lot stronger than that. The straddle up is the first dynamic loaded stretch in the progression path and is the exercise I see most people attempting when they aren't yet ready. If you haven't got a strong active middle split for at least 40 seconds for all your sets at around this height, you won't easily be able to make progress with the straddle up and I recommend spending more time in the active middle splits. You can start a straddle up with your butt elevated a little, but you should be able to do it on flat ground within a few sessions. Once you can do the straddle up on flat ground for 10 reps, take your hands away for the eccentric part of the rep and then try reps without using your hands. You don't have to be able to do a straddle up without your hands to progress because the next progression is a great way to break through plateaus, but you must be able to perform straddle ups from the ground for the full set of 10 reps. Next is the pissing dog knee hinge and middle splits contract, relax, antagonist contract, AKA the middle splits crack. The pissing dog knee hinge is really tough and another move that people often attempt way too soon. You need to be able to extend your leg with your foot higher than your hips. So that means that your knee stays up above hip height and then when you straighten your leg, your leg shouldn't drop too much. And you've got to be able to do that without leaning away from the exercise as well. And if you can't do that, then you definitely need some more work on the easier progressions. The middle splits contract, relax, antagonist contract is a great way to break through plateaus because you're cycling between contracting the adductors and end range contractions for the glutes and quads. This fatigues the muscles, making it harder for your nervous system to tighten them, which means you get more flexible. I've had success by doing a cycle of the middle splits crack and then jumping to any of the other earlier progressions and potentially even going back and forth between them for several programming cycles in order to get a breakthrough. Now we're onto the hanging straddle end range contraction and the straddle up to good morning. This isn't a harder end range contraction than the pissing dog knee hinge. In many ways it's easier, but it's a good way to break up all the work you'll be doing on the pissing dog knee hinge. And it's the first progression where we're contracting both sides at the same time. The straddle up to good morning requires a lot of strength and can be done in many ways. You can press your hands into the ground to help. You can straddle up without your hands and grab the weight, or you can hold the weight the whole time and straddle up without your hands. This exercise will make you very strong in the middle splits when you're ready for it. Now we're onto the prone straddle end range contraction and the eccentric middle splits. This is by far the toughest end range contraction I've found because there is absolutely no way of cheating your end range. I actually made up this exercise myself, so I probably should call it the rad lift, but that just sounds silly, doesn't it? When you lift one leg, the other leg has nowhere to go, making this a strict contraction. I really like this progression because it keeps you honest, but it requires a high level of end range strength. The eccentric middle splits are an excellent way to test your new levels of flexibility. Just be careful. It's dangerous going to full range without using your hands. So you wanna play with using assistance before you try this unassisted. To see how this all fits into a 15 minute workout, you can watch this video here. Just click or tap the screen. Make sure you grab the flexibility blueprint to learn more about flexibility. And if you need any help, join my online personal training at unitygym.com.